going? Yeah. Okay, I'll just cut it. People need money, right? I'm broke right now. Just straight broke. So Gary vee has been saying, been saying, uh, what has he been saying? He said, every one of you has a foundation of between $500 and $5,000 worth of junk in your closet, attic, garage, basement right now. Every one of you, a jacket you're not wearing anymore, sneakers that are out of style, those sneakers go for 19 bucks. You could probably find $1,000 in your house if you just look around and sell some stuff. So I did. I looked around the house, found some things. I'm gonna try to make a grand in one day by selling shoes and old Supreme stuff. Let's get started. So, uh, anyone want some Supreme or uh, uh, a beanie? I have a beanie here. Are you gonna use part of the money to buy my Christmas gifts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna buy you a Christmas gift and you will be the first fund to starting my trip to a thousand dollars in a day. How much would you buy this for? 20 bucks. Let's be realistic. This goes for about a hundred dollars on StockX. 40 bucks. Let's say 80. We can do 75. 85. You know what? I'm feeling... How about we do 95? Okay. Oh, that works. That works. We kind of uh, did this beforehand. He saw this and got excited, so he's gonna start the fun to a grand by buying this for eighty dollars. So we have eighty dollars. So I just, I just need the eighty dollars. Okay. Yeah. And I'll, I'll give this. I'll give you the. I'll give you the rest once you give me this. No. No. I need. A, I'll give you half and then you give me this. But what if I get only half? I can't have forty and then you just run off and I can't I show your I room on YouTube. Do I won't do it. Let just, just let me show you. Just let me. Just let me show you. It's okay. It's okay. Hold on. Just hold on. Let Wait. Go. There's something. There's something on it. There's something on it. What? Wait. Move your finger. What? Look. No. I honestly thought I was going to get robbed there for a second. That would have been the worst to start the video. I've been robbed before. Yeah, selling shoes. It's not fun. You got you to gotta see the scheme before the scheme sees you. Me, I'm like all of those other guys. Well, all right. So right now, me, Cam, Connor, Silas, we're all just driving over to uh, Retro Shack. We're gonna try to sell as much as we can there, try to get as much money as possible for this challenge to get a grand in a day. They close at five, it's 2.30, almost three o'clock. We're just heading there now. So we're here, we just got to Retro Shack, just went in and talked to Nate. He said it was cool to bring some stuff in. I don't think we're gonna be selling a lot here, but you know, we're just gonna see what we can do. <laughs> As we were walking into this fine establishment, I realized that I really did miss buying and selling Supreme. It was just a big part of my life just a couple years ago, but now that I've gotten older and have bills to pay, well, I can't spend that much money anymore. There's actually one thing I did hate about buying Supreme, and it's the negotiations. I mean, nine times out of ten when you're buying or selling, you're gonna have to negotiate. And I just hated negotiating. I mean, just look at me here. I'm stressed out. What if I don't get all the money? What if I don't get the grand? What if I don't get the challenge done for the people? All that stuff is going through my head. Here you go, John. Get these for Owen, man. Imagine putting these on Owen's Dude, you would kick them off so fast. It doesn't take that long for me to forget my problems. Is this still recording? Yeah. So we're just looking around right now while they're totaling up what they want, what they don't want. But so far, cool vibe. Check out the store, some B-roll. All together for like 800. They have super fair. And if you want to just do the rest for like, I don't know, 300, like make it a 1,100. Let's see, so you said you were at, you were at 10 on the tees? Yeah. I'm cool at four piece on the tees. I could do 50 for these two. So that'd be 850 on Raptors. Where'd you say you were on those? Like 130? I can do a little better than that. I'll do like 150 there. Bam! Just like that. A winner! I'm on the head. And I need this for sure. I was gonna say, I'll do a little higher on this one. Because what'd you say, 30? Yeah. Maybe 50 for this one. Okay. I'll just rock with those today, I think. Okay. If that's cool with you. Yeah. Yeah, so that comes out to 1,050. Yeah. Dude, like we did it. Oh. Just in one go. Oh, Straight like that. Dude. I appreciate you. Man. We're Retro Shack. We're located in Spartanburg, South Carolina. We do vintage shoes, uh, streetwear. We've been here for two and a half years now. You can check us out at Retro Shack 864 or RetroShot864.com. They helped me out so much, they got my video done quicker than I was expecting. Easy work, right yeah. there. So gas. Christmas is coming, boys. And just like that, we complete the challenge just in one go. I cannot believe it. What are you actually going to stick in? I didn't get that. I can do like 20 for all of them. You get them? I am. Oh, I'm going to stop. I guess Gary D was right. If I could do this 10 more.
more times, he was extremely right. Here comes the money! Here we go! Money talks! Here comes No more stripper ones for you, Joe. I don't got a hundred million, I can't chill yet. We got the grand and more than we expected, but the video's not over. We must keep rolling. We're only an hour into the journey and already completed the task. Dude, that's insane. I was not expecting that. I was expecting what uh, Connor said, like, what if they offer you 990? But then they were like, you just want to clean slate it? Nah, Nate's a good guy. We pretty much completed the challenge, but we still have stuff. So we might as well try to see what more we can get. We're going to Varsity Goods. That's in Greenville. It's about 5 o'clock now. They close at 7. So that's what we're doing now. I guess we'll have some B-roll of this beautiful sunset. Cheers. And that's exactly what happened. Me and Cam drove through traffic all the way to Greenville. About an hour drive, by the way, just to get rejected. Just to hear that everything that we brought from Sparnberg is cool to see. But we're not interested. Just like what I said to my ex-girlfriend when she slid into my DMs recently. Am I right, guys? Monogamy. It's real. I'm in a committed relationship. Yeah, I'm just gonna drag this on now. Goodbye. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.